Uh, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> now, this fall, 2013, I'm expecting there to be some upsets in boxing. I think you have some fights on the roster right now that have some underdogs that are live underdogs. Guys who, quite frankly, can win the fight outright. Not just satisfy props, but actually get the knockout or win the decision. Now, one of the fights I was prepared to take the underdog in was one man Wells' fight, one man Well Marquez his fight against Timothy Bradley. I was going to make a video here online and I was going to pick Timothy Bradley, who I consider to be one of the very best fighters of his generation. Right? As I like to say, as you think of this era and you think of the biggest names of this era and as you debate whether this is the Floyd Mayweather era or the Manny Pacquiao era, understand that Timothy Bradley might be on the verge of beating not only Pacquiao, but also Marquez. If he were to fight Floyd Mayweather, in my opinion, this would almost be like the United Kingdom in the late 80s, early 90s, when people were debating who was better, Nigel Benn or Chris Eubank, two excellent fighters. Right, One of them, a tough bomber who called himself the Dark Destroyer. The other one, crazy in my opinion, but immensely talented, the ultimate showman, Chris Eubank. And against that backdrop, a technician named Michael Watson knocked out Nigel Ben, and quite frankly was on the verge of beating Chris Eubank in the rematch after a disputed first fight when he himself got stopped. Well, just like we overlooked Michael Watson a generation ago, we might be overlooking Timothy Bradley right now. Who's to say that anyone's better? If Timothy Bradley beats Marquez and then goes on to fight Floyd Mayweather in a battle of unbeatens and then beats Floyd, Lord knows Timothy Bradley has the hand speed and has the foot speed to put up one hell of a fight. But after listening to Timothy Bradley in HBO's Face Off with Juan Manuel Marquez, and let me say both of these guys are men. Both of these guys are consummate professionals. Both of these guys have been around long enough to respect worthy opponents, right? There's a lot of respect in the room. But Timothy Bradley said something that troubled me and has me keeping my hands on my money in my pocket. And that is that it took him two months to recover from the beating he took against Ruslan Provotnikov. What do I mean by two months to recover? Bradley said that he had slurred speech. Bradley also doesn't look good to me. He's talking about having had emotional issues. I'm just here to tell you getting hit upside the head for a living isn't the best thing for your mental health. Right? So, <clears throat> because you really have to consider Bradley to have been knocked out in his last fight, even though he won the fight, right? Because brain injury is the kind of thing that is subtle, but when it shows up, a fighter suddenly loses the balance, loses the depth perception, loses the reflexes that he had when he was healthy, right? And because we've seen what's happened literally in the course of one fight, to fighters like Jerry Quarry. One minute, Jerry Quarry is destroying Ernie Shavers. The next minute, Jerry Quarry didn't quite look like the same fighter. 
Because I don't know at this point whether Timothy Bradley is still Timothy Bradley. And because Timothy Bradley himself admits that he had to undergo a lengthy recuperation at the end of his last fight, I'm going to be on the sidelines for this fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. Right? I think that Bradley has the superior hand speed, has the superior foot speed. I think Bradley can fight inside. I think Bradley can fight outside. I think if Bradley fought the fight that he fought against Lamont Peterson, he beats Marquez. My question is simply whether that Timothy Bradley still exists. You know, I don't like taking fighters in the fight right after they've been knocked out. Right? That's high risk. The public thinks that the fighter is still the same old guy. You and I know better. You and I know that sometimes when a chin's been dented, that chin's been dented. You and I also know that sometimes a fighter is in the ring. Physically, he's ready. Mentally, he's having flashbacks. He gets hit. He gets hurt. It's not the same as when he was invincible and unbeaten. Right, so my advice to hardcore gamblers is to enjoy the fight. Lord knows both of these guys are excellent fighters, right? You know, if Bradley is still Bradley, and if he were to fight Manny Pacquiao again, I would pick Bradley again, just like I did the first time, right? But a guy coming off of a devastating knockout is the kind of guy you need to be careful of, right? Timothy Bradley's a great fighter when he's Timothy Bradley. The jury's still out on whether that's still the case. <clears throat> Just as it's still out <clears throat> on whether that's still the case with Manny Pacquiao after he was put to sleep by Juan Manuel Marquez, right? Don't fall into the trap where you think because the guy looks great and he's cracking jokes and he looks coherent that that knockout doesn't matter. People who follow American football know that these concussions can catch up to you down the road, right? Taking a fighter who's fresh off of brain trauma and here <clears throat> we have a great source telling us about the trauma Bradley suffered and that's Bradley himself. Think about it. Could you imagine going several weeks without being able to pronounce your words? Just think about that for a second, right? Because we know what Bradley's been through, my advice to you is to stay on the sidelines. If Bradley comes out and he's on his horse and he's still Timothy Bradley, Marquez, as great as he is, at the age of 40, won't have the foot speed to keep up, right? So... I believe it's too dangerous to take Marquez. But if Timothy Bradley shows up and he's not himself and he can't deal with a very savvy counterpunching opponent who's able to counterpunch with hard punches, right? Marquez is not there counterpunching you with just a jab. He's countering you with heavy punches. Look at what he did to Manny Pacquiao. Then this one could end ugly. So I'm on the sidelines. Sometimes you have to know when to say when. I'm saying when here. I'll certainly watch the fight. I just won't be betting on it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.